Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at what I think might be the coolest packaging for any box set of figures I have ever seen. This is the Diamond Select 3-pack for the original movie, Tron. Now this is not from Tron Legacy, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. That's back uh, from 2010, which is kind of a rethinking slash sequel to the original Tron movie, which these figures are from. The original came out in 1982, and we're actually coming up on the 41st anniversary here of that movie in July. Now, the movie has so much going on for it, it's kind of hard to give a short summary. There's just so many ins and outs. But, in essence, Jeff Bridges plays a master programmer. And he used to work for a company called Incom. He was then fired. And he is trying to, at this point, hack into the company's mainframe to show and prove why he was fired. At this present time, he's running a video game arcade. Now, he had designed and came out with a bunch of video games that were stolen, basically. His ideas were taken by Dillinger. And Dillinger presented these video games that he created them. And when he was fired, Flynn had no way of proving that he was actually the creator of all these games. And instead, Dillinger was promoted to kind of run the show at Incom. So one of his friends... Um, Alan Bradley, who is actually Tron. So essentially, within the mainframe, each one of these users has their own program that looks like them in the movie, it looks like the actor. So, you know, Kevin Flynn, Jeff Bridges, his program within the mainframe is called Clue. And so Clue looks like Jeff Bridges. We see Clue in both the original movie and Tron Legacy. Alan Bradley, his program name is Tron. And, of course, the likeness of Tron within the mainframe is Alan Bradley. Uh, the actor's name is Bruce Boxleitner. Now, Dillinger, who's played by David Warner, a very prolific actor. We've seen him in so many things over the, the decades. Sadly, we lost him in 2022. Uh, he does the voice for the Master Control Program, he plays Sark, the program within the mainframe, and he also plays Dillinger. So the master control program within this Incom mainframe cyberspace was originally a chess playing program that has gotten completely out of control because it's an artificial intelligence that has gained massive strength and massive intelligence and is calling the shots, and has basically become the god within this cyberspace. In fact, what's occurring within the cyberspace is the programs are getting basically beaten and abused and has to go, have, have to go through these trials and tribulations um, and are trying to be brainwashed into thinking that there are no users. It's kind of this idea that they are trying to have the idea of a creator taken out of them. And it's such a far out idea, but also not. It, it makes a lot of sense. And I think what's more far out is the idea that this film was filmed in 1982, and these ideas are so modern, really, in the way that they're presented. The, the, the movie is so ahead of its time, I really can't believe it. And basically, Flynn and Tron are in this mainframe and are trying to bring the mainframe back and conquer this master control program. And so that the programs are aware of their users. Such a fun movie. And I think the figures by Diamond Select really do it justice. Now, the packaging, 
I think is the best part. These figures are sold separately uh, with a lot less glamorous packaging. And that was actually kind of the route I was going to take. I was going to take these out of package and let them breathe on the shelf. But then I saw this and let's just take a look. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's the Tron arcade game as the packaging. We got those light bikes from the movie. You, you've probably seen that. That's one of the most classic elements of the original movie Tron and Tron Legacy. We've got these discs. These discs, of course, you know, uh, carry the data. They're basically kind of like a, a disk drive for each of the users slash programs within the mainframe. They're kind of like these Frisbees. Kind of gives you a summary here as well. Got the same thing on the side here. Looks very much like the side of a, you know, an arcade machine. And in the front, of course, you have the slots for your coins. You got the joystick that says Tron on it. Now, this is where it gets really, really cool. I'm actually going to turn off a light. It's got a light feature. And it is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So it's got a black light feature. That's that's button one. And you can see that the paint job with these figures, um, you know, it, it really allows them to flourish here. So the paint job with that black light kind of acts together. And then there's a second button where it kind of gives you a little light show. So, and it's got that 1980s, you know, strobe light with all the rainbow colors. Uh, you know, the, I like how this this light shows up up here as well as, lo as much as onto the figures. So it lights this Tron up just like a real arcade machine. And then you got this going kind of like a pause screen on an arcade game ready to be played. Let's take a closer look here. These are seven inch scale and it's cool because they turns off automatically. It's I got a timer. So we'll turn it on again. We got the black light. So we've got Tron on the left. Flynn up here, you can tell by that kind of shirt skirt. And then we have Sark. Sark is one of those evil programs within the mainframe working for the Master Control program. And like I said, it's really hard to give a good summary because it, there's so many layers in this movie, so many characters. I mean, literally every character has two to three layers within the movie, within the mainframe. So really awesome. So that's that, that's that black light. They got the Frisbee. You can see the, that Frisbee has the movement behind it formed in the plastic. And then we have that light show. I don't think it has to be said that this will not be coming out of the package. The package is everything with this. And I really hope it lasts forever um, as far as, you know, the, the technology within this, the electronics and everything. What's really cool, too, is on the back of this, you'll notice, let me get this light back on here to take a look. It has replaceable batteries. So you can see you just, it's uh, three double A's, three double A's in there. You replace those. And... It's like the back of an arcade machine. This thing is so cool. I can't even handle it. It's one of the coolest things I have in my entire collection. I, 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 I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I think this is one of my highest uh, recommendations at the moment. They have these on Amazon and they're originally, I think, 130. And right now they're going for under 90. Um, definitely definitely recommend you pick one of these up. Uh, I really wish the Tron Legacy figures were as good as these. Um, I think these are actually, well, they don't take the place of the Tron Legacy because you'll notice that they are quite different, their outfits and everything. But 
I think these are kind of the quintessential Tron figures. They'll they'll take the place of Tron Original and Tron Legacy. If you want some Tron, um, get these guys. If you want them out of box, I wouldn't recommend this box set because this deserves to you know stay in its place and stay within the packaging. Um, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And we'll see you tomorrow.